Hello, hello, we are live from the Blockchain Center at Bayes University. Um, this is the day we all been waiting for, and I'm super excited to be here to take us through the next steps and break all the good news that has happened. Uh, let me see where we are joining from. Um, today we are letting our Zoom uh, webinar up. Some of you can connect to the webinar. Um, you can put the link, webinar link in the YouTube channel. Uh, it can take 3,000 participants. So some of you can come through there. Uh, when it's filled up, others can continue from the YouTube channel. Um, the web link, the link for the webinar will be down there on the comment section in a bit. Okay, I want to welcome all of us once more today. We've been waiting for today to happen. So let's do a quick recap. Um, the project, this project is a federal government project, um, you know, directly under NIDA. And we are set out from the get-go to train 30,000 Nigerians on blockchain development because they want these skills, you know, a lot of us to get these skills. So the plan was, hey, go ahead, um, get 30,000 people selected and let them go to the training. When we made the, uh, we opened the application, a lot of people applied. We have about 93,040 distinct applications. It was huge, like more than three times the number we are looking at. And then Dominion, we said, okay, um, Let's give everybody a, 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 a you know a level playing ground. So let's accept all the application. That's what we did. So if you had applied, you know you'll be here now. If you had applied and you get an email telling you your application has been well, was received, you are here. And we noticed some people made some errors in their like some people will type their email address, put dot where it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. They were invalid. I'm sure they didn't get any um, email in the first place. So if that happened to you, probably that's why you know you didn't get any email. Other than that, everybody that applied, we took all of you. So the plan was let's go to a pre-course session. During the pre-course, we'll select uh, we'll, they go through the basics, you know, the Bitcoin theory, which is the basics, and introduction to, introduction to JavaScript and to GoLang. And from there, we'll select 30,000. That, that, that was the plan. And this was supposed to happen on the, the BS, um, on Dominion's um, platform. So again, um, while we are setting things up, we talked to BSV again, say, hey, this first course, at least is introduction to Bitcoin theory. You own the course, you developed it, it's yours, right? Uh, can't all our participants take that course at least? And they were like, um, they don't have the infrastructure to support 90,000 people. I said, well, I mean, if they could have taken this course, it would have been, you know, made more sense. And they were like, uh, okay, let's see. So they went ahead and upgraded their infrastructure to be able to accept um, 93,000 people. So that's why we had to wait. Um, they were all busy all through yesterday. You know, it's in the US. They should be sleeping by now. Oh, waking up already. Yeah, yeah, they, you know, but all through the night, they were very busy. You know, trying to set up this to to work, and uh, we we got back with us. Hey, we are all set. All our all the like three thousand people we sent to them have been set up on their um, back end, right? So uh, we made the announcement earlier on, and we I can see most of you already tried to log on, and you know some are having issue. But let me explain that part of having issue. So they have to deal with ninety three thousand, right? An email has to be sent out. The effect was that some of the emails they were sending out, they got bounced back, you know, some of the invalid ones, and that affected their, um, their bounce rate. So there was restriction on the email going out. So that's why at some point people stopped receiving email. And they went around now, I think they found a, a, a way around it. They would say, okay, let them remove the, uh, the requirement for you to activate your account. We said, okay, but they got around it now. 
If you register earlier today, you should be able to activate your account now. And if you are just registering, within five minutes of registration, you should be able to um, get into the portal without issue. So that's where we are. And um, yeah, let me share my screen just so we get up right away. Yeah. Okay, so today we are looking at onboarding to fit work learning portal. Um, this is your next step, you know, to start the first course. Everything is set for the first course. So, um, so all you have to do is go to www. Please, you can just go through this. I'll drop this slide in the GitHub account. So just follow me. Uh, let's not go and overwhelm the system. If all of you go now and start typing this, this uh, into the uh, portal, you overwhelm the system again because the number is large. So don't go to the uh, portal yet. Just go through this with me. I'll show you around. Then when I'm done, at your time, maybe in the night, in tomorrow morning, tomorrow after any time, you could go and try this out. If all of us go the same time and hit it, you know, yeah, they upgraded it, but then, you know, it can still degrade the performance. So please, don't try to go to their site now. Just follow the, um, the slide. So all you have to do when you go to this port, uh, this address, fiftwork.com, and let me say something about fiftwork. It is, uh, it is the portal designated by BSV for this course, right? Because they own the course. So this is the portal designated. In this portal, uh, most of the project that has to do with BSV ecosystem are on this portal. So when you go there, you scroll down, you will see NIDA. We have our courses here. This um, NIDA 001, that's our introduction to Bitcoin theory, right? So when you go there, you scroll down, you see this, and you click that. When you click that, it takes you to the next page you are going to see now. And that's the page, Introduction to Bitcoin Theory, right? So what you have to do, you click Enroll here. Enroll, it takes you to the next page here. So they already set up your account. It's not like you are making a fresh, uh, creating a, a new account. It's already been set up. The only thing is that because you are set up with them, you can connect. So here you put your email, you put your full name, you put your public name can be any name that's unique. Like I tried to use Callisto's, it wasn't available. I remember, oh, I had it on before, but on trying to test out the course, I used I Callisto's. I put an I. So just anything that's unique to you. If you use a name that's not available, just you know, add something to it. And when you do that, you put your password, if you accept. Normally, from here, it sends you. Um, oh, sorry. Let me go back one bit. Okay, yeah, from here, it tells you something about, you know, checking your email and all stuff like that. Yeah, so I continue. So I'm in, this is the, what it looks like inside. So over here, you see details about the course. It started on, uh, on the 12th anyway. It's going to end on December 22nd. So by December 22nd, you should have, done everything about this course, all your score must have been recorded because after that, this course will be archived and you cannot have access to it again. Uh, I'll go live, I'll go do this thing, test it out on the browser just so we can see and follow. So let me go live and uh, let me go to the browser and quit that. So, uh, again, let me use this my Tor browser, so www.fiftwalk.com, enter. Um, yeah, continue, this is Tor browser, you know, 
does all these checks. I didn't put HTTPS, but yes, we continue. I guess there's most traffic on the site right now. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. No, no, this is studio, not what I wanted to come. It walk but come. Okay. Uh, wait one minute. Maybe did they revamp this top but one minute? Let me just check from my regular browser. I want to try something now. Um .com. Ah. <laughs> Hey, you see, can you, oh, so if you guys can just stop hitting this, uh, I think we overwhelm the, the website right now. And um, it could also be because they are working, um, let me say this, uh, their team, they are still trying to resolve the email thing. They want to remove the activation part. So you don't have to wait for email to activate. Okay, that was the last update we had, and that was like um, 20, 20 minutes ago, no, 30 minutes ago or so. Although they say this will happen to us in, uh, in the night, during our own night time, so they will do the upgrade. Sorry, they will remove that requirement for you to um, activate. So let me try that again. Work.com. Yes. Oh. Okay. You know, this is my browser. I signed out before, and uh, that's why I didn't want to use this. So I mean, but I've signed out before. Hey, cache is my detail. So let me go back to to the Tor browser. I will get a new identity. New identity. So with the Tor browser, it doesn't cache your data, your details. Once you close, if you come back, everything is fresh. It doesn't know where you've been before. So it's more, yeah, it doesn't store your data. So fifth work. Okay, so in Jeanette, they it was still, so probably they're still working on it. This will clear up. Let me check the last one I logged into. I can use that if it's the um, last one I logged on to. I'm not sure where I really. But, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that one. Okay, so I I logged in successfully before, and this is it. So when you are inside, what you see here. So I did enroll, and that brought me here. So on one side, you see the course details. Like I said, this course ends on December twenty second, and that's when the whole pre course will have ended. So um, you must have finished here and got your your grades. And here are the you have the abstracts. You must be familiar with this by now. We've shared it before. And those are the courses, right? So, and you can't jump any of these courses. You take them sequentially. If you try to open one you've not gone before, it won't, it won't let you. So what you're supposed to do when you are here, you hit here, start course. Look, look at that. You say start the course. So it takes you to the first course here. I don't want to click it now just so we don't lose this completely. Under the abstract summary, you click that and the video comes up, right? And you go through the video at your own pace 
um, at some point, it will stop and ask you some questions. And those are part of the quiz. So you answer the quiz, and when you are done with it, it continues. So you must finish this before you can do, you must finish abstract, for example, before you can do um, peer to peer cash. If you go and jump to digital signature, it won't let you. So it's sequential. So that just to make sure that, yes, you have gone through courses. That's how we monitor uh, the work you've done. Also, here, you have discussion. I hope it doesn't. Let's see. Um, ah, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> shouldn't have clicked that. So, that's it. So, you have discussion. Under discussion, you will see. Um, so, you have probably you ask a question and people can answer it. So, you see all the costs going on. And also, you can watch your look at what your progress is. So, in a nutshell, this is it. Again, uh, they work all through the night to get us to this point, and they will overwhelm with all the requests coming in, right? So don't try to, for now, let's not try to connect. Uh, let's advise, they're working again tonight to make sure they remove the requirement for um, you to activate your email. So that back and forth doesn't happen, right? So once all that is done, you are good and you are set. So everything will be on you. Every other course, every other every other time we come online, it will be to help you with your um, problems. Maybe if you got stuck, there's a concept you don't understand. Okay, we will explain that concept to you. That's what will happen. So onto the second part of the announcement we have. Uh, let me pull back my my slide. Yes. Okay, so that's it for the course. You okay? Uh, yeah. Look, there's discussion here. That's the discussion tab. I the other time and we lost it. So when you click here, you ask your questions. People will answer your question. In fact, you will see a question that be asked by other people. When you go to progress, it will tell you how you you know how you're doing, or as far as your own course is concerned. You know the whole you know. If you finish everything all from you, you, you go all through the videos, you answer all the all the questions, that's like 100 percent right? If you face some question, that's like something less than 100 percent So but whatever it is, it will accumulate. You know, it will be very obvious to you, okay, this is why you stand on this. And uh, yeah, other than that, uh, let's go to the next announcement. And that is learn to end. So what BSB did for this course, they say, you know what? For everybody that registers for this course, as you're learning, as you're doing your assessment, you earn BSV. Hmm. Wonderful. So of course, BSV say, uh, you have the BSV as a blockchain where we build solution. You also have the one they use for, you know, for governance, the crypto uh, part of it. So as you're learning how to build, uh, um, application on Bitcoin blockchain, you automatically earn some BSV. So we talked this morning, early morning, and I was informed that they are, in fact, they are looking for donation. They are, they are contacting the ecosystem. They want them to donate more resources. They want to increase what each student will earn. And that's wonderful. Like, you know, this is like a dream. You know, when we, are, when we are started at this project, I never knew it would take all this time, right? We are just, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll get this done. We'll help us need that. We'll help the federal government push all this thing through. But then as we are going in, you know, we're getting more and more support from the ecosystem. And that's why I think it's very good. If you look here, you see one uh, image called Send B. Let me tell you about Send B. Send B is just a wallet, all right? And let me tell you, this wallet was developed in the BSV ecosystem. So... Um, is this wallet you use to end your BSV? You know, when you, 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 you sign up to send B and then there's a place you put your address, your BSV address there, that's where your end is. As you're going, as you're studying, you keep raking more money, more, more um, digital cash, okay? You keep repeating. And this app was developed by a South African guy. You know, he's been in the BSV ecosystem for a long time now. And this is it. And this is, this is the beauty of the ecosystem. And in this, our cohort, I look forward to using our app 
hopefully neither will continue this pro um, program hopefully you know we are not but hopefully if you guys do well yeah if you do very well and we bring out good products i mean they you know that would be an incentive for them to continue this program maybe taking you guys to a higher one at least or bringing in new ones into it so in the next cohort that will come i would like us to use our own app could be that someone um, some group from this program have developed something and uh, is the bsv ecosystem so and we can use that to add value so this is an example of what happens in the ecosystem so it's send b is go it's a it's global right now doing all enabling micro transactions and these are some of the kind of solutions you might build especially in nigeria where we need micro payments for the unbanked for people in the remote areas yes it's possible so I look forward to using our own app by the time we are having another cohort on this. Um, like I so the guy that is um, developed this program, this app, he will be with us tomorrow. Uh, he will guide you on how to set up SendB wallet, tie it to your fifth work account, so that for any course you're 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 studying, you'll be earning. People that will continue the second phase, all the courses you are studying, you ask, the more you study, the more you earn, right? And, and that's wonderful. That's a very good incentive. And this is made possible because of blockchain. You know, decentralization, you know, distributed ledger system where there's no central authority, where anybody, any two peers can communicate, can transact without somebody in the center saying, hey, you can't do this or you can't do that. That's the beauty of the blockchain. Imagine what you can do with it. Let's say um, um, all these um, community, uh, what do they call them? Uh, cooperatives, for example, okay? You see cooperative, what happened? They gather stuff, maybe they give to somebody. At the end of the day, maybe Christmas, it's, Christmas, it's December already, holiday is coming, and the person wakes up wanted and disappears. I say, oh, all our money is gone, right? And they start looking for the person. Imagine if you can bring a solution that uses a blockchain for a community like that. So everybody do their contribution because it's a blockchain and nobody can, you know, bamboos with it or say, hey, it's your turn, but we won't give you this time. No, it's written under, on, into the smart contract. So once the next person turns to do, once the time comes, the person gets whatever he's supposed to get. This, way you can, this can be done with a blockchain. So think about it when we start the project phase. These are some ideas I'm giving you guys. You know, you could look at that option and it'll be good for, you know, all these market women that do agile every morning that are contributing, right? This kind of decentralized app will secure their, their, their money and make sure you are paid promptly. No excuse, no story. That's the, that's the blockchain. It doesn't give you story. It doesn't know who you are. All you know is your private keys and your public keys, right? You sign it. Oh, you belong. It belongs to you. So this is what we are looking forward to getting out from this course. And I'm challenging us to keep thinking of ways you can have this, you know, uh, come up. So I'll pause at this point. Let me look at the questions because I know a lot of you have questions already. Um, I can answer some, you know, without even looking at the question sheet yet. Um, yesterday, we talked about the GitHub. I've got a lot of questions about GitHub, GitHub, GitHub. And someone asked, can you use uh, use it on your mobile phone? My answer yesterday was, I don't know, really, you know. But uh, five, just before I finish the course, no, after the course finished, someone from the APL, a learning student from here told me, yeah, it's possible. You can download the app. I said, oh, wow, that's great. So I looked it up, and it's true. So and GitHub, if you're using a smartphone, you can download it. And you can also, somebody was trying to fuck a repo. He couldn't, she couldn't fuck the repo, right? So he got back with me on, on, on yeah, I, I saw the message and I replied it. I looked it up. So yes, uh, let me try to do that. Uh, one minute. Let me go to my, uh, get back to my browser. So, you know, for a normal laptop, when you go to, to any repo, you will see the fork icon. If you click it, it forks it. But on a, on a mobile, when you click fork, it opens the list of all the people that have, have uh, you know, forked that repo before. It doesn't, 
you know, um, bring it down to your own um, repo. So to work around that, what you do, you type the address of the repo you are going to, and you end it with forward slash fork. I'll give an example. So let's say I want to fork our, um, our repo for this course. So I go to HTTPS, github.com, um, Callisto's iPhone, below, forward slash, and uh, need the blockchain scholarship, forward slash. Now, this is what you do. In a, in a normal laptop or desktop, you stop here, enter, right? But in a, on a mobile phone, you forward slash, you add fork to it, that. So once you do that, you can fork the repo. Let me take that again. On a normal laptop, once you get to blah, 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 dot the repo, you stop there, enter, you go in there. Uh, why not I do that? One minute, I'll copy this copy so let's actually go to a repo so here is it so here we have look at the fork icon if you click this on a desktop it takes you to your repo but on a mobile it doesn't take you to your repo it shows you all the people that fuck this. So what we are saying, if you're on a mobile, rather than stop here, you add forward slash fork. That's it. I don't know how it behaves on a desktop, but let's see. Okay, yeah, it creates a fork. That's what it does. You see, it does that already. Okay. So that's the question about um, the GitHub I got. Let me look at the other questions. Okay, somebody said, how do we log on to the portal if email wasn't sent? Uh, let me say this again. All the 93,000 people that apply for this, your, your details have been set up at Fifth Walk. You have them, they have it already. So just put your email address, okay? Put your name, choose a, a, a unique stuff. Uh, okay, it's not coming up now. And put a password, it will connect. Your data is already available. If your, uh, your email is not with us, as I mean, you're not part of this program. If you try that, it wouldn't work. You know, it wouldn't take you through. So only people that have, been, uh, that have been selected for this scholarship can go through. So you don't need anything. Just go there, put your, your name, your email address, choose a unique um, username and put a password and go ahead and create an account. The account will come through because they already set you up um, in the back end. I hope that clears it. Okay. I've gotten activation email from Fitwork after signing up. On, I've not gotten. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what happened was when people were sent, you know, trying to sign up, for everybody sends email out. Again, there are some restrictions. Let's say if you're using Google Workspace, for example, uh, your email address, this the one you used to send that email can only do 1,000 mail in a day. We are talking about 93,000 people. So at some point, you couldn't send any more email. I want you to understand that. Or well, the only thing is that there will be a delay. When it clears up, it will allow people to send, and of course, email service provider, they implement this to avoid spam because if one single email address keeps sending, send, it, it sees that a spam mail, even though it's not a spam mail, but it has the signature of a spam mail. So it, by default, they detect, uh, their system detects it and try to do something about it. Now, to prevent this from happening, the, this night they will implement a solution that will not require you to use activation email. You get that. So going forward, um, let me say after this night when they've done that, you can just sign up without, it won't ask you for activation email. We have to do that to take care of the volume of um, connections we are getting. All right. Can I finish the course earlier than the finish date? Of course, yes. Yeah, you can finish the course. In fact, for someone that is enthusiastic, you can just start before you know you are done. Remember, we are starting um, 
um, JavaScript and uh, Golang. We will not wait for this to finish before we start that one, no. So we'll give you like three days, okay? Then we'll start JavaScript. While you're still doing both, you, you know, you're doing the JavaScript, but for now, focus on this, uh, this part because that's the most important part. That's the blockchain. So if you are coming to this course, that's what we want you to learn. If you're a civil servant, think about this. The federal government is spending money to train 30,000 Nigerians. What does that tell you? It tells you that they have interest in, you know, revolutionizing how they do stuff. They want to bring in blockchain into, so into the daily operation. So if you're a civil servant, you should know this so that when it's time to implement it in your own ministry, right? Yeah, you're already trained. You have the skills already, and you guys will be the ones to lead charge. Okay, so for government to pay this money to train you means that really, really interested in it. So that's why we want this block, this introductory part. Everybody should go through it, know the nitty gritty details. Someone asked what is proof of work. Uh, I will have explained, but there's no need anymore because you are in the course now. Um, as you are going through that, we will now collect your questions. Maybe, yeah, those where you have problems. Our, during our live in session, we go through them, explain every bit of it. You know, you ask questions. And now we have our webinar link up. So 3,000 people can always join. And rather than, you know, with the YouTube thing, there's a delay, sometimes one minute, sometimes two minutes. But if you're on the webinar, I mean, it's, it's real time, right? We can interact real time. And with that, we can solve, um, answer your questions and help you finish this course. Okay. Uh, what will happen when a beneficiary has not been able to register on fit for before tomorrow noon? Listen, you can register anytime. Those courses are not tough. Let me tell you this. You can finish those courses in one day, in a single day, you can finish all of them. Don't panic, just calm down. I want you to appreciate what we're going through right now. We have tons, thousands, of, tens of thousands of people trying to access the same resource, okay? So, and because we are all trying to register at one time, it's, you know, it, it, it's affecting the resources on the infrastructure. But as soon as everybody gets in, it becomes easier because somebody goes to work while you are working. Uh, someone at home might be doing the assignment. You would have come back from work. Oh, it's in the evening. You start your own. Or it could be that you woke up in the morning. It's around 5 a.m. Oh, let me do my assignment, okay? So you see, it will be staggered. So we will not have all of you trying to do the same thing at the same time. And you have enough resources. So even if you cannot sign up tomorrow, it's fine. Don't bother. Don't worry, okay? Um, whenever you sign in, you complete your course. And if for any reason you have some special issue for today, just know that if you can't sign in today, it's because of what's going on. So don't bother. After this night, everything should be up. We expect you to be able to sign in. So, and if again, you can't sign in by then, and we are live tomorrow again, remember by 2 p.m., um, the same B guy, Lauren, will come in to walk us all through that path. So um, while, after he get done with that, We'll still take questions and still uh, help you out with wherever you're stuck. Okay. Is it after we get the second phase that we start earning send B? No, okay, number one, you are not earning send B, you are earning BSV. Send B is just the app. We are, okay, where will you keep? Remember, most of you are new to the crypto, um, to blockchain, right? In blockchain, so BSV that you earn, you have to put it in a wallet. Wallet is a place you store your keys, your private key and your public key. You will see when you get the call. So you have a private key. Your private key is unique to you. Only you have it. If you leak your private key to anybody, your asset is gone. Then the public key is the one you give to people. So if I want to send you, if they want to send you BSG, for instance, through SendB wallet, they're going to need your public key. That your public key has been hashed to form what we call an address, a BSV address. So that address is where they will send it to. And once they send it to it, you put your, um, once you open your wallet, open your wallet means signing in. You will see all your assets, okay? So you start any BSV the moment you start studying. You will see. So um, hang on. I, I, my advice would be um, just don't finish every course here. Just hang on. Tomorrow by 2 p.m., Lauren will come in and take us through the whole. I was like, he, he, he developed it, it's his product. 
what's the best thing for having the pro product owner to come and demonstrate and also interact with you people. Now, these are kind of people in the ecosystem, right? As they are expanding, they, they, do, they want to do stuff in Nigeria. They will need as they will need talent. And here are you guys. So it's good you interact with him one-on-one. -on -one. That's why I say, Lauren, you're going to come and take this by yourself. And he said, that's fine. So tomorrow by 2 p.m., Lauren will be here and walk us through. And you interact with him one-on-one. -on -one. And um, as they're trying to expand the operations, you know, coming to Nigeria, we expect that people from this um, program will be grafted into projects like that. We will make sure that happens, definitely, okay? And not just it happening, I want you guys to also bring up your own apps. When they come, we'll push it. We'll take it back to the same BSV ecosystem, all right? And when we push it, we'll go global. And that's the whole point. That's the whole point of the ecosystem. That's why we are building community. And about that, let me say this, please. The communities we are building are very important. Now, make sure you are on the official groups. I, I like some people come, they create some other subgroups, sub that, sub that, please. I mean, if you're in this course, I, I assume you're 18 and above anyway, but I'm just telling you, you only have to be in the main groups, not any other group. We have our official um, Telegram group. You go there and see all the tasks, 6,000 people registered on that already, yeah? And um, we have the, all the official links there. So just be in the right place. So that when we need to, when we're looking for anything, we'll know where to find you guys. We know where to contact you. In our own BSV, in our own Dominion portal, we have something where once you have gone through our course, you become an alumni and you belong to the alumni and you have your data there, your email and all stuff like that. Okay. So if something happens, we need to reach out. We know where to, where to get you, where to see you. Okay. Okay, I think that's the last question I saw there. Let me go to the link myself, just see if. Uh, uh, please, how do I use Golang JavaScript on VS Code? I, how do I use Golang and JavaScript? Someone is asking how we he use JavaScript and Golang on VS Code. Uh, we, we are starting the introduction to JavaScript course later this week. So I think it's on Thursday. So come back on Thursday, we'll have all these things. If I'm saying this now, it will be sounding good to every other person here. So um, yeah, let me see. What is the last day to do the assignment on the course on fifth work? The last day will be 22nd, by advice, 22nd of December, but I advise you not to wait till 22nd of December, please. Okay, don't wait until that time. Finish up your assignment as soon as you can, just so it will help us, you know, in aggregating your scores and getting ready for the second phase. But yes, tentatively, you can finish it on the 22nd. It's still valid. We'll still collect your results. No wahala. Okay. This one I have received an email from BSV since four days back, and I've already signed and registered, but it does not have any. Signy of Nida. Uh, I'm not sure I understand this question because this BSV thing just happened last night. The first set of email went out this morning. As of as of 4 a.m., we are still having discussion with the uh, dev, dev team. As of 4 a.m. today, I was with the dev team. Dev team, we are discussing, um, you know, the the portal. So, uh, what happened? Did I lose connection? Is this one right? Yeah. December. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I think I went off a bit. Am I live stream? Okay, all right, so uh, I'm looking at the questions. Okay, I'm not sure I'm getting more distinct question now. So just to recap everything we have said so far, 
We are all live already on the BA, um, on the fifth walk. Um, and just have some more patients from tomorrow morning, afternoon, just go in and register. Then come back here tomorrow by 2 p.m. to know how to connect, how to download your uh, the send B wallet and link it to your fifth walk so that as you're studying, you'll be earning. If, if you don't link it, if you don't link your uh, your wallet to your fifth walk, you can't earn anything. So you will earn, learn, but you won't earn. So it's important you do that linking, okay? And um, continue with that. Okay. Okay, that's it. Other than that, I think this is a very short one today. For those of you uh, still having issue with Git, I think I made a solution on that. And for the course material I just used now, in the next, okay, let me see. Um, one minute. Let me upload. Please copy that. Copy. Okay. Is the item there? All right. Let me go to my VS Code and upload this straight to. I want the terminal. New, oops, new terminal. There we go. Okay, see the uh, programming need that that git status. Yeah, so git. Okay, git commit m at fire git push. Here we are. So the material I just used now is going up to the um, to GitHub. Done. So it's available now. You can pull down the material if you want to. Um, other than that, uh, we'll meet you again tomorrow by 2 p.m. Um, I advise you to join through the webinar. It's only when the webinar gets filled up, some can then go to the YouTube. So we have room for 3,000 people on the webinar. Uh, we'll be doing the demo on how you set up your wallet. So see you guys tomorrow again and um, have fun with your work. For those of you that already signed in, you can start uh, learning and earning. Thank you.